In this video tutorial, you will learn how to automate your test using the XRIO technology. XRIO stands for Extended Relay Interface by Omicron. This feature allows you to configure your own parameters in the test object and to link to these parameters from within the test modules. This way, you can automate your test so that it automatically adapts to the given relay settings. In this tutorial, we want to automate testing of the backup overcurrent pickup value. From within an Omicron Control Center document, we first open the test object. It consists of two main parts, the Rio block and the custom block. We will begin our work in the custom block. In this block, the user can define their own parameters in order to use them for testing. We want to add the backup overcurrent pickup value and the corresponding current tolerance to this block. We will switch to the advanced view so that we can add new parameters. Now we add a new subblock to the custom block with a right click. We open the details to rename the block. The ID identifies the block. There are certain rules to following when defining the ID. For example, you can only enter capital letters and some special characters. However, the block's name can be anything you like. You can also add a short description of the custom block for the user. Right-click to add the first parameter for the current pickup value. A parameter can be specified using five different data types. String is a plain text, like for example the name of the device. Enumeration provides a list of items to select from. Boolean allows to choose between yes and no, meaning true and false, respectively. Integer is used for whole numbers and real for decimal numbers. The pickup value in this example is 1.8 amps, therefore it requires the data type real. Double-click the arrow symbol to assess the parameter details. In the parameter details, we enter the ID, the name, and a short description of the parameter. You can also specify a foreign ID, for example the name of the parameter in the relay software. We enter the pickup value of the current, which is 1.8, and select the unit Amps. It is also possible to specify a minimum and a maximum value to limit the range of allowed values. Next, we add another parameter to specify the current tolerance. This time, we are not going to assign the value directly. We are going to use a formula to calculate it automatically using the pickup value. In this example, the tolerance is 5% of the pickup value. Therefore, we first add a reference to the pickup value with a right click. Then we multiply this value by 0 0.05. The resulting current value is calculated automatically. To make it easier to read, we select the unit amps and a multiplier. Please refer to the help for more information on the formula syntax. After defining all the necessary parameters in the test object, we can now automate our ramping module. There are several parameters that depend on our pickup and tolerance settings. What we want to do now is to link all these ramping module parameters to the settings in the custom block of the test object. Let's start with the starting value of the ramp. For example, this value is set to 80% of the pickup value. To insert a link to the test object, we right-click the field and select Link to XRIO. Now we can select the pickup value from the list and multiply it by 0 0.8. The field is now marked purple which indicates that the value is linked to a parameter in the test object. The end value of the ramp is 120% of the pickup value in this example. Again, we link this field to the pickup value, this time with a multiplier of 1.2. 
The step size in our example is the tolerance divided by 4. Thus, we add a link to the current tolerance and multiply it by 0 0.25. The other ramping parameters are linked in the same way. Now we want to change the pickup value in the test object to check if the linked parameters are updated accordingly. As you can see, the tolerance is now calculated from the new pickup value. The same applies to the parameters in the ramping module. All of the linked fields are updated automatically. Now we have configured and automated the pickup test for a three-phase fault. In order to test other fault types, we can simply copy this test module and change the fault type. The links in the ramp and the assessment view stay valid. In this way, all test modules in the Control Center document automatically adapt to relay parameter changes in just one location, namely the global test object in the document. And you can enter settings in the same way as you do in the relay configuration software, while the formulas in the test object and the XREO links in the test modules translate these relay settings into the settings needed in the test modules. The automated ramping module that you see here is part of a template in the Protection Testing Library, in short, PTL. The PTL provides a large number of automated test templates for different relay types. You can install the library either from CM Line Tools DVD or download the latest version of the templates from the Omicron Customer Portal at my.omicronenergy.com. Just select the relay you want to test and download the template. The download package contains three files, a control center document, an XREO file which can be imported into a test object, and the corresponding user manual. The installation will automatically create a shortcut to the PTL folder on your desktop. In this folder, you will find all the templates you downloaded, as well as the general PTL user manual describing the general structure of the test templates. Alternatively, you can access the Control Center documents via the Test Universe start page. You can modify the test sequence and configure it according to your needs. Please watch the PTL video tutorial if you want to learn how this can be done. For more detailed information on XRIO and its features, please also refer to the Test Universe help.